Boom, baby. Pretty powerful. Had to play it again. Some people missed it yesterday. Anyway, uh, thanks for being here. As you see, it's 10 a.m. and not noon. Because at noon, we are doing 360 live. So I wanted to get this in earlier. It'll be short. It'll be sweet. It'll be it'll be what it is, right? <laughs> anyway, I was I was um, on a webinar last night, Rob Lynn Live, and they did a QA. I went on because uh, I love working with the people from uh, Singapore, the leaders. Unbelievable guys. They uh, soft spoken. They tell the truth. They make sure that what they deliver is is what the company would want so that that's a refreshing thing for me and they answered all the questions in fact i learned a few things myself <laughs> but uh no it was very good and very very good so they they're gonna have that once a week a q a if you want want a great q a go there uh the other place i recommend always um uh, on sunday at two o'clock Heroes has a webinar every week, and they do a spot-on, banging, fantastic job, just so you know. Uh, I would go there if you got questions, you want to know what's going on, because they also have the ability to say, if they don't know, I'm not sure, this is my opinion. That's a very important thing you can uh, you can say to people, right? Now, as you know, yesterday... Um, Chris Johnson got that text from us saying, keep checking the back office. There is going to be an update. So keep checking that back office. As of 10 minutes ago, I didn't see one. That doesn't mean there isn't one there now. I didn't see one. Sorry, my throat's dry. I wasn't imitating Chris Johnson. I truly was dry throat. Uh, like I said, I was going to, um, actually, I went to TikTok. I was on Facebook. And all of the TikTok has on passive everywhere. Facebook's doing the same thing. It's pretty cool stuff. I mean, it's out there. And people that aren't marketers, which are most of us, are sharing this business, which is so cool to me absolutely so cool to me and how people are coming out and getting out of their comfort zone you know last night even uh, one of the gentlemen said that he was an introvert he just wasn't that guy to step out and start talking to people now he does webinars and he said unpassive made that possible I i'm saying that's the beauty of unpassive because once you feel comfortable being you and you can go your 100%, whatever your 100% is, it doesn't matter. It matters, but it doesn't matter. You're not, don't compare. I think people compare too much. Oh, I want to be like, I want to be, no, be like you. Be the best of you though, right? Be 100% of what you have to offer. Because I'm telling you right now, if you really dig you have a lot more to offer than you think you do. And that's important. And like I've been saying for the last three weeks, four weeks, five months, five years, whatever, on passive is the platform of hope. It is the platform where dreams will be answered. It's a platform where the thirsty will get something to drink. The shoeless will get shoes. The hopeless will get hope. And what more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? And that video I played about talking to the donkey. I know it's instinct for a lot of us. Me too. I finally learned my lesson of trying to convince somebody that it's beautiful over here. Look what I got. Look what I see. They, it's just some people are that way. But I'm going to tell everybody out there watching this. I'm passing this forgiveness also. I don't, I work as hard as I can not to hold a grudge. 
people have done things i don't like it and then very soon after i'm more upset that i got mad over it than i am with what really happened because we're all human we do dumb stupid things and the worst thing we could do on top of that is hold it remember that put that in your memory is is a mistake worth keeping and holding something accountable for something they did one time made a mistake i made so many freaking mistakes look everybody out there watching this i don't care what you said or how you feel there's probably something on passive that can help you enhance your life just the platform itself of being able to come out and be around other people that have hopes and dreams like you do because even the most negative person on the planet they have hopes and dreams but they're they're camouflaging it with bull crap camouflaging your hopes and dreams with negativity and nasty and why i get life sucks life beats you down and some people feel that when they're beat down freak i'm not going to feel like crap by myself let me share this with others that's the sad thing our misfortunes even though they're temporary some people not anybody that i see here but some people hold that and say i'm not feeling like crap on myself let me share this negativity and that's really sad that's really sad because for one thing it doesn't help the person sharing it, it makes it feel worse and the person that did have a little bit of ray of a little sunshine just got a cloud slapped on her head and shut their light down but let me tell you if you self-motivate and you believe in something like i'm passive like i do and i'm passive nobody can take that away no matter what you think no matter how negative maybe even a family member they can't take that away Nobody can take something away from you, a feeling or a thought about something. They can't unless you let them. I've talked to people. Sometimes I can be blunt, too blunt. And I go back and I say, I'm sorry I came across that way. I just feel so passionate about what I'm talking about. You know, you get into a conversation with somebody and they're asking you about this magnificent movement and while you're explaining it they're starting to make they're starting to build questions up because they want to find something wrong they're looking to find something wrong while you're trying to explain it to them i said to them look i'm done i'm not going to play jeopardy with you because sooner or later you're going to trip me up on something because i'm human do you want to know how how this business works how it can help you i already know how it's going to help me i don't need to convince me i'm convinced i want to show you so that maybe you can say hey that's for me too but if you think you're going to drill me with questions until oh i'm going to get them Marty ain't playing that game. You go to somebody else. Because as long as you play tennis with somebody while you're explaining something, you're going to lose. They will get a score. And that's all they're looking for is a score. Up, oh, got him. Got her. She made a mistake. Must be, it must be horrible. Come on. Really? Really? Life is a bunch of mistakes. Life is a bunch, bunch of things that happen that we don't plan on. It's what we do with them. It's what we do with that. What, what do we do with the bad time or the bad judgment or the stupid mistake? Or you stop? And there's no way that's crazy don't don't even think about it. don't let people put you in a category that you're not in nobody nobody knows you but i'm going to tell you something 
the more time goes, the more you let go, the more you start to see. Listen, I'm going to tell you this, and this is going to sound really strange. So I'm going to try to say it the best I can. When you're, when you start to become the best of you and you get to be you and build you, there's been times that I'm, I'll be speaking from the heart about this company that I love, or could be anything, something I love. And I become my own spectator. The words are blowing out. I'm, I'm actually spun around and I'm listening to me as the people around me. That's when you know you're in that positive zone and you are running things the way you want to run it. That's how you know. You know, when Mr. Mafar comes up and he's talking and he'll he'll make that one statement that maybe Gina Leva catches or Narelle or Graham Burt, right? You catch it and go, whew, that was powerful stuff. That's a zone thing. That's where you're, you're connecting with someone. It's powerful. It's a lot of fun. But a, a lot of you have many ideas. you got ideas shooting to your head. I think we, I'd love to be able to do this. I'd love to be able to do that. And at the end of that statement, what do you say? I'm not Steve Jobs. I'm not Ash McFarra. If it was that great of an idea, you know, somebody just thought of it. Not necessarily. Build you up. Take a journey within yourself to be the best you. And when you become your best, you will attract a lot more people because they're going to want what you have. They love the idea that you're confident in yourself. I'm not talking about being arrogant. A very, very confident person, if you watch them, and this is my opinion and what I've seen in my life. A very, very confident person spends most of their time talking about others. Because they've come to the realization they're happy with themselves. Nothing's perfect, but they're happy with themselves. They have no problem of sharing that gratitude and light towards others. I see the problem when people are always on the defensive because they don't even know themselves that well. They have never built themselves. And if you build yourself and you and you push forward and milestones in your mind go one step further, one step further, one step further, the day will come when you talk or you're doing something or you're explaining something. And people will go, oh, Lisa, I get it. That's me. I get it. I, that's me. Yeah, yeah, I had that happen. Yeah, that's me. It's powerful crap. It's very powerful. And there's no end. There's no end. I still remember driving. I don't remember who I was with in a car. And we got to talk about treasure hunting. Where you get a map and there's an X and you try to find the X and you dig it up and maybe whatever. Like a treasure hunt. And he pointed over within the next five minutes to a to a graveyard. Because, boy, there's a lot of treasure. The problem is it can't be retrieved. The treasure was in the minds of people that never lived their life. They lived the years... Some of them 80, 90, 100, fantastic. But some of them live for somebody else. Or they live thinking they can't do it, have no confidence in themselves. I guarantee this. The more and more people I see step out of their comfort zone, whatever that is, I'm not saying do something you don't want to do. I'm, okay, forget that. But you know what's good for you if you give it a chance. You never... Never lie to yourself. Now, you may not do it, 
and then you build up some reason why. That's you. That, that's the mistake. But if you truly do what you feel, 99% of the time, even if you fail, which is a good thing, fail is fantastic. Because the sooner you fail, the quicker you get where you want to get. So if you let go of failure and say, okay, that means I get to move on. That means I'm experiencing things and I'm going to get better tomorrow. It's going to be better tomorrow. It's going to get be better. Oh, that was a dumb thing to do. That's okay. I've learned from, I won't, I won't do that again. Move, and move on. Because the platform went on passive is that platform for you to do that. I've been saying that for a long, long time. And, and when I said it originally, I hoped that what I believed about what was coming with on passive, that it would be that. Now I know it is. Now I absolutely know it is. And I've met, I've met older people, two types of older people. I met older people that lived their life to their fullest and they were dirt poor. I've met people that were very wealthy and just hungered for more because it didn't fill that void. It didn't feel what they really wanted, which was live life to its fullest, your fullest. That's why when some people at the end were fortunate enough to live a long time on this planet, they have no regrets. They have no regrets. And a lot of it is what is your life? What is your success? I hear us say, you know, yeah, once you get the money, you might be chasing that. But once you get it, if you don't have anything with it, like nothing with it, it doesn't fill that that need, that want. I don't have the money. I'm as broke as you can get. I don't have enough money to pay attention. But I, I, I've learned in my life that focusing on things like that Remember, I want to make enough money to think about money. I don't need to be a multimillionaire. I don't need to be a billionaire. Don't don't need it. I want to get to the point I have to think about it. Car breaks down, we pay for it. It's fixed. I see somebody in need. I help them give it, get them out of their problem. And, and I've learned a lot from Mr. Mufara about giving somebody something and offering somebody something that will change their life is so much more powerful. I've heard people say stuff. Why would the company spend money on this, this, and this when there's people that are in this situation or that situation? And I'm thinking, wow, they're thinking so small. Ash does not want to make the biggest band-aid in the planet. He never said that. I want to make the biggest band-aid I can make and help people for a short period of time. No, he wants to flip it upside down. He wants to give them a fishing pole, give them the bait, give them the hook, and say, fish, young man, young woman, go fish. Because if you can do that, that's life changing. That's not a band aid. And people keep looking. That's why when you watch, now you learn, I'm learning this myself. I'm actually talking to myself right now. So just stay with me. But when you watch on passive and they, they do this marketing thing that we've never seen, or it's not your typical, especially if you're an, uh, a marketer or ex marketer or whatever you were, and you watch it and you're going, man, what, what, I don't, why there? Why that? Why this? And if, you, if you're open to it, you go, oh, my God, that is so much bigger than ever been done, ever, ever been done. And, and the point is, if you want to soar like an eagle, you got to flap your wings. 
you want to soar like a California condor, you got to flap. You got to at least put your wings out there. I don't know what that is. Oh, stone spawn. Um, and the only way to do that is break that, break that bond that you have, that 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 lock and that chain that's wrapped around you. You look at people, man. There's a, there's a story about um, Steve Harvey. They hired him to be on a show, and they put a person in there to give him a speech, a um, person to teach him how to talk better and not talk like some black guy from down south or whatever. And he said, that's me. And they say, yeah, but you're going to have to do this. You have to do this. And, and he finally said, wait a minute. I have a show. They asked me to do it because of me. This is me. And look what happens. He talked. Millions of people listened to him. Because he finally got to the point in life where he became his best Steve Harvey. And, and, and that's a talk show guy. That's a, okay, that's fine. That, that's not me. It may not be Jerry Nix. It may not be Dr. Lisa Lee. But whatever you are, be the best at it. So when you walk, it's not about looks either. It's not about, oh, perfect, this perfect bullshit. All that goes away. The perfect you will let that go. And you'll start worrying about what matters. And when you have people starting to listen to you and they want to be around you, they don't even know why. It's because of who you are and how you come across to other people. It, it takes work. But I guarantee this. Everyone here has hundreds of thousands, if not millions of other people that would love to be with you and work with you. There's no doubt in my mind. But the thing is, we got to take that key that Unpassive has given us and unlock it and fly like the wind. I really believe that. I really, truly believe that we can all do that. And many, many people are already doing it. I've, talk, I've heard people and I'm going, wow, that's amazing. And what are they saying? They're saying... I'm passive made it for me to come out and talk and to spread my wings. Marcia told me she wouldn't even turn her camera on at first. Then she finally did. Now she's dancing. I'm passive didn't make that happen. It gave the it gave the ability to let that happen. And she took advantage of it. That's all we got to do is take advantage of it. I did not go to college. I am not a professional speaker. But I know who I am. And that's good enough. That's good enough. I bowled my way through anything I ever wanted to do. I did, I did good at what I wanted to do. And I was horrible at stuff I didn't care about. But you hear ass say about education and how so much time is wasted doing classes and stuff of things we don't even need or we don't like. People gravitate, gravitate towards what they have a passion for. Well, you don't know what you have a passion. That's not true. You, you open the door for a young kid, young kid, young girl, young boy, and you'll see the boy just kind of gravitate towards music. Who told him that? It's the open door. Little kids grabbing everything. They grab everything. They just grab it. A two-year-old just freaking, I got a hat. I'm like, what is this? What is this? What is this? Until they find out what they want. And what happens as we get older, we stop that. 
the walls are put up. No, no, no. You're going to work 40 years. You're going to do what you're told to do. And if you're lucky, through that grace of God, you live to 67 years old, you can retire. And if you're really lucky, you have enough money to survive another 10 or 15 years and then you die. I don't think that's, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that's necessary at all. And thank God there was a guy named Ashley Farr that definitely didn't think it was necessary. And he believed in people more than we believed in ourselves. And then he built a platform. And on that platform, I'm going to give names to products, but they're going to find out it's more than just that. And it's happening every day. Every day. More people will follow you into on passive because of who you are than they do because of the products you share. This is my opinion. Anybody can opt in. Anybody can get the initial, okay, I'm in. But they're not in yet. And when they meet Philip or Gifty, or Gina Leva, and they go, what, what, what are they on? I mean, what, I want what they have. I want that glow. That, can you guys see that glow? You see what I mean? I want that feeling. The feeling is yours, and it is you that gets it, and it's from what you do. But if you see it in others, man, that's a great thing because then you know it's 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 possible. And on passive makes everything possible. We came into this company, whether we know it or we didn't know it, long term, to put a hand down and bring somebody up, and in some cases push them above yourself. If the world worked that way, you'd never turn on the news and see a war. You would never see people protesting and beating the crap out of each other. But it's not that way. But an unpassive in this world, an unpassive world, <clears throat> we can build it that way. And we are. We're all starting to become the best of ourselves. And that is priceless. Do I think I'm going to do well financially and on passive? Yeah. More than I've ever probably, no doubt, more than I've ever made in my life. And some. But it means much more to me. Helping others, talking to others, and watching people change from a caterpillar into a butterfly. Because some of us never do it. Yeah, but you look so much different. You got wings, you got beautiful wings, you're a butterfly. I'm just a, I look like a worm with legs. You gotta go up there and pass into the top and flip this thing upside down and you will change. You gotta believe it. You gotta get up and attach yourself to the top of the best of you and you'll change into the butterfly that you should be or the eagle or the hawk or the lion or the whatever. It's all there for all of us. You've got to get out of your own way. The problem is between your ears. Your heart's craving it. Your family's craving it. You're craving it. You see people chasing and chasing it's never good enough. I want this. I want this. I want a million. I want two million. I want five million. You know why? It's not what they need. They need to, they need to fulfill themselves and be the best of themselves. They'll say, yep, this is me. I live to my fullest. And I think, I think we're all seeing that. I see it every day. 
And I hope everybody does. But that's what we could do in on passive. And once we pull up our, our cabinets, pull up our gas tank, maybe get a car that runs better, a nicer house, whatever. Then we turn our eyes and go back and get the less fortunate. There's no reason for people to eat the crumbs off the table. They should be up to the table just like we are. Is it going to happen overnight? No. It's not going to happen overnight. But what can a million people do? Left in lingus, lingus. Thank you so much for the super sticker, sir. I leap. Yeah, it's leap. Thank you so much. I uh sorry I butchered your name. But anyway, that's what's going on in about an hour and 20 minutes. We're gonna have uh 360. No idea what I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> uh I appreciate everybody being here. But stay positive, help each other. We're all in a different part of life. We do have doom days. We have days that aren't so good. But as long as you keep looking forward, look, it's okay to fall down. But if you fall down, you got to get up. That's the most important part. And falling down is part of the deal. Because every time you get back up, you're getting closer to being the 100% you. I believe that. Of course, this is how I feel. Anyway, I wanted to share that. Um, <clears throat> keep an eye out. There is going to be an announcement. It's going to be crazy good. Why? Because they always are. Uh, what they're doing behind the scenes, we have no idea. But trust me, I don't need to see it. I don't need to hear it ahead of time. I know it's, it's almost unbelievable where we're at and what we're part of. And on top of all that, I get to be 100% me. I have a platform where I can run and do what I want. I love chatting with people. I'll probably keep doing this. But I'd love more than anything else, watching people grow. Quiet, sit back, introvert, I... I don't like this. I don't like, there's people here that are going to write novels. There's people here that can write poetry like nobody's business. And they're going to start a club, a poetry club. And out of that club is going to be one of the best poets ever, poems ever written. Music. Somebody's going to write music or share lyrics in their lyrics club. And a song is going to come from there that's unbelievable. Superstars will be risen from on passive. If that's what you want. But don't wait for people to point out what you want. You know what you want. If you knock down the wall, you know what you want. And if you're not sure, it'll get clearer and clearer and clearer. Walk towards the light. Walk towards your feelings of that feels good. And remember, no matter how bad your day is, a crappy day, it's temporary. And if you're having a really, really bad day, help somebody else. It'll make your day better. It always does me. Anyway, that's all I have. I'm going to do some shout outs. 305 people on a, on a bad timing. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. I appreciate everybody being here. Um, I'm just trying to people to see where they can go. I don't know your I don't know your journey. Don't care to know it. But I know that most of you haven't lived to 100%. And that's the big deal. Anyway, um let me say some howdies. Woken Ghost, thank you so much for being here. Abdi Elsa, Ava Des, Ying Yang, 44 Four is always here. Pam Corwack, welcome. Denise Sisoda, boom, baby. Anthony Bonaparte is in the house. Sigilio, why oh, I can't believe my tongue did that. Sigilio Jamak, 
Thank you for being here. Human Kabar Kamal Kamal Kamal, welcome. Angie Bun is in the house. I forgot to say howdy. Uh, oh, you did. Fatina Harry Copel. Denise, she's saying hello to everybody. Levine Benny, beautiful. Thank you for being here. Wonderful lady. Tarun Jahar, welcome. Grand Burt, hello, Grand Burt. Glad you could make it. MDF Afas. Burgess Jorgensen. Uh, one and only Gifty. Ray of Sunshine. Jennifer Dickinson. Jeff Two Das. Rob. Uh, Lynn Nakamoto's here. Thank you for everything you do too, Lynn. MD Salim. Uh, the one and only Narelle. I probably put her to sleep 10 minutes ago. Casey's American. What's happening? Joyce, Dominique Henderson. Jean Oliva, the one and only. Always does very inspiring things. Thank you, Jean. Amar De, De Benet, Eve Diaz, Diaz saying hello to everybody. Uh, Jerry, my brother from another mother, and Nix, Dr. Lisa Lee. Thank you for being here. Pretty Hindry's in the house. Graham Burt, I said hello. Ralston McKenzie, welcome from New Jersey. Happy Wednesday, Marty DeGrom from New Jersey. I am in, in the house today. Yes, I see you. Daphne Ar Armory, welcome, welcome, welcome. Victor Abba, loving and caring and sharing by people in the record history. Ask me before I'll pass up the kiss to humanity. Yes, without a doubt. Without a doubt. And it's rubbing off on all of us every day. Jacqueline Davies, hello. Yes, Marty, absolutely correct. Thank you. Uh, Anita, Jerry Nix, Yosef. El Paso is a safe place. Yes, that's a big deal. It's a safe place. And, and other people, inventors, lawyers, doctors, whatever, visionaries are going to come because it's a safe place and it's secure. And they're going to be able to upload their life, upload what they their passion. Some people's passion will, will save lives. Remember that. Some people's passion will save lives. And this is the platform to do that. Um, the render, uh, Mino Miller. Hello, Mino. M. Kylie. Thank you. Zombie guys here. V. Love. Oh. Robert Rojas. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being here. Santana Zemlinak. Welcome. All right. I'm at the bottom. I love y'all. Thank you for being here. I will see you all in one hour. I believe Red might be coming on in 10 minutes. Uh, make sure you check it out if he is. I believe he is. Um, I had a good day. I know I was all over the place, but sometimes you got to deal with that with me. Anyway, love y'all. And Ash might be on. I don't know. I haven't heard. Doesn't mean he won't show up. Anyway, love y'all and goodbye.